Mental Trail. I am in Chahoga National Park in Ohio hiking. Look at those rock cliffs. Beautiful wooden trail to, you guessed it, because I know you can hear it, another waterfall. I'm pretty excited and it sounds beautiful. Ooh, look at it through the trees. That's a pretty view. I wonder if I could zoom out and get a good picture. Look at that. Is that not cool? Alright, let's go see what we can see. I'm going to have to shut off the camera soon because guess what? There's more stairs. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Check that out. Isn't that just beautiful? There's like so many different waterfalls just cascading over the cliff. And down to the river. That is super pretty. This is nice. This national park is actually in the middle of several neighborhoods. And by part of a shopping mall. So it's a really convenient national park. So look at that. It's gorgeous. And I hiked all the way to the top. Isn't that pretty cool? I can't get over how beautiful waterfalls are. So if you look really close, you can see a rainbow. Wow, check this out. So I'm at the very top, and this is as close as you can get. They have a fence here, so you can't go out on the edge. But up here, this waterfall does not look as powerful as it does as it goes over. And it's weird to me, because most waterfalls I see look really powerful up top, and then it looks like the power decreases as they go over the fall. But this one is really weak up top, and the power increases as it goes over the waterfall, which can explain this. Back in the 1800s, they started using this water power to have like a sawmill and a wool mill and everything. And then an electric company built a plant here. But then suddenly, the whole community died off. Very weird. But I thought that was pretty cool to show you, because see, there's the edge where the water goes off. But look, it doesn't even have any power up at the top. Very weird. Like if it wasn't for the fact that that's mossy and slippery, you could actually hang out up here and look over the falls. But because it's mossy and slippery, you'll go over and you'll die. So I won't advise it. I'm just telling you how tranquil it looks up here. The other side of the road going into Brady Falls, it just looks like a mellow creek you can play in. And then here's a little, this is not a road anymore, it's a bike and uh, hiking and walking trail. But then you go over here, and you look over, look how mild it is. And then suddenly, phew, right there is where all the power comes in. That little bit of water going over. Pretty dang cool. Anyway, like I said, it's right in the middle of a neighborhood. So I'm going to hike this trail back and hope it's not too commercial. It doesn't look like it, but that one in there was beautiful. Again, it had like a bazillion steps, but it wasn't too much today. Either I'm getting better at the steps or I don't know. Well, it just wasn't too much. Oh, I thought I heard a car coming, but it's up at the top. I don't know, but we're going to head this way. Back to where I'm parked. I have to hike through this creepy tunnel, which is not very long. But the view makes it look creepy. And that's out the other side where I came. And up there are some little birds' homes. Look at them. I think those are swallows. I'm not totally sure. But look at that. Doesn't that look creepy? I don't know. But it's a pretty amazing place. Right in the middle of town. If I lived here, I'd probably be here a lot. Back home, I got a lot of nice parks in my town. But they're so hot and sunny. They don't have all these trees for the shade, obviously because it's Arizona and they don't grow that way. But, oh look, this is pretty cool. It's like grass walls. Look at that. Huh, I hope I'm going the right way. I thought when I got out of the tunnel, I'd be able to see that I was going the right way. But, who knows. But I think it's kind of cool how this grass grows on these walls. Look at that. Huh. It's a little different than the ivy that was all over Michigan, or ferns, 
I'm not sure if it was ferns or ivy. It might have been ivy in Minnesota and ferns in Michigan, or it was ferns in Minnesota and ivy in Michigan. I don't freaking know. I just know there's a lot of green stuff everywhere in all these northern states. And those, they either look like brown eyed, no, they're not brown eyed Susie's. Those might be wild sunflowers. Holy bejesus. And if I remember right, they're thorny. So I gotta be careful. Look at that. Is that not, I can't get it to stay still. That is beautiful. I think those are wild sunflowers. Those are pretty. Look at that. Huh, because the brown eyed Susies have brown in the middle. These don't, these have yellow. And then there's these purple flowers. But there has been awesome, ooh. I have no idea what that is, but look how viney it is. There has been awesome wildflowers everywhere I've gone. Oh, look, I am going the right way. There's the RV. So weird. Grassy walls, creepy tunnel, RV. Sorry, they actually look like current, but there's a lot of them and it doesn't appear the birds are eating them. So I would think they might be poisonous. And just so you know, look at the back of my RV. It looks like it's hanging over the edge. Terrible parking job, but this place didn't have any RV parking. And some people have made a trail through that to get up to the RVs or to the parking lot. But I don't like to do that because I like to let the plants regrow. So even though somebody else has stomped it down, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hike all the way around. But look, purple flowers. White flower. Oh, look, here's a different white flower. Look at that one. And then again, I think those are wild sunflowers. Let's see if I can get a picture and make it be still. And there's something in here making weird noises. There's cattails over there, too. It's probably a frog, but I don't know. Anyway, goodbye. Talk to you later.